Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice for September 8th, 2016. Thank you for being here with me. Um, if you're new to my channel, this is a look at the energies that surround us at this time, um, what potential we have to work with, what we need to know in order to be able to use these energies for our highest good. So it's a general reading for everyone watching regardless of a zodiac sign. And since we're looking at energies, these are going to manifest in different ways for different people. So if you feel you resonate with the reading or the reading resonates with you, uh, take away the message of it and apply it to uh, the situation that you're experiencing. And I just want to say sorry I'm late posting this, but I've actually just uh, gotten back home. Um, we had a bit of a sad day. Um, a beloved pet of the family uh, crossed over today um, in my fiance's family they, and um, she's been you know she was a beautiful dog and she's been with them for 20 years and so to say the least today was very very sad um, but we had to go and be with family and try to do what we can to help them out okay to to get them um, through this difficult time or just make it a little easier if that's possible so that's why I'm a little late um, but I'm here now and so we're doing the reading and um, I also want to say that I will be posting um, I think I'll be posting the love monthlies uh, today a bit later on today like a couple of hours from now hopefully um, and thanks for being so patient with that and then the general monthlies um, I think they'll be posted tomorrow okay um, so just to give you a heads up because I've been really trying to get them done and posted for you guys and I'm also trying I'm trying I'm not promising anything but I'm trying to um, find a way to do weeklies again because I loved doing weeklies for you guys um, and so even if it means you know they're going to be like 10 minute videos or something like that for each sign a bit shorter but I would like you to have something each week um, to just give you a heads up as to what may be happening in the week for you so that's what's going on that's what I'm working on and um, so now on to the reading. So the message that we have for the eighth is one that talks about um, establishing some healthy boundaries. Um, it's about focusing on ourselves a little bit, okay, and the balance between giving and receiving. For a lot of us, we are used to just being the person who's always there for everyone else. The person who always gives 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 and asks for nothing in return and that's a beautiful thing but just like anything else if this is done to an extreme then it's not healthy and it's actually very very harmful so i think that's what the message for today um is asking us to look at um the healthy boundaries that we need to establish in order to have a balanced life pretty much okay so the first card that we have um, and a lot of you have been asking me, I don't know where the box is, but the tarot that I'm using is the Tarot of Dreams, okay, by, um, well, the book is by Lee Burston, but the deck is by Ciro Marchetti or, or Ciro Marchetti, depends on what kind of accents you, you want to use. Um, it's an absolutely gorgeous deck. I've um, waited for it, <laughs> basically, for a, a while for, for it to be um, reprinted. And um, it's gorgeous if you want to buy it. Maybe I'll do a review on it. I think I'll do a review on it. And then you can get a, a look at all the cards. I think that'll be uh, cool and interesting for everyone, hopefully. And the Oracle card comes from the Secret Langu Language of Color um, Cards Oracle deck by Anna Seagal. And I don't know where the box is, but um, that's what I'm using. Okay, just to, just to let you know, because a lot of you have been asking, and they are really, really beautiful cards, okay? And very easy to work with, very talkative communicative okay so first card that we have representing the influence of the past on our current situation is the two of coins and so the two of coins in our past represents a need for balance um, it represents making a choice it represents um, the need to prioritize okay it's busy times in our lives where we've had to juggle a lot at the same time we've had to juggle um, home life and work life, uh, personal life and health, um, personal plans and work life. Um, maybe we've had to juggle two jobs. Maybe we've had to struggle to make ends meet. Maybe we've had to um, divide our attention between several people, several situations, several events. 
whatever the case may be, okay, whenever we get a two in a reading, and um, it asks us to look at if we have a balance in what we do, okay? Um, and if things are stable, because if we, if we have balance, then we have stability and security. And so this is what we are being asked to look at today because we've been doing this for a while. Some of us have been doing this for, for our entire lives just giving, 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 and trying to split ourselves in a million different directions so that we are always there for someone else. Um, and it's just time to restore the balance, okay? If that's what we've been doing, it's time to restore the balance. It's time to prioritize and put ourselves at the top of the priority list for a change, okay? And that's not anything selfish, and there's nothing you need to feel guilty or bad about. It is simply a healthy thing to do, okay? Um, following the principle of balance, balance is health, balance is stability. That's what we need to do at this time. So uh, the energy that we have for today is the Queen of Cups. For some of us, the Queen of Cups talks about taking some time to meditate, taking some time to reflect, um, taking some time for introspection, um, hearing taking stock or taking inventory of our lives today, um, checking our emotional and spiritual batteries, uh, seeing if they need replenishing. The Queen of Cups is also the nurturer. Um, she is a devoted mother and a friend, um, advisor, guide, teacher, whatever it is that someone needs, that's what she can be, okay, because she's very um, empathetic. She can put herself in someone else's shoes so easily and just see their perspective and actually feel what they're feeling and experience what they're going through. And that's why the advice and the support that she offers is often exactly what the other person needs, okay, because she actually understands. But it takes a tremendous amount of energy and effort for someone to be able to do that, okay? And so with the Queen of Cups, it's asking us to Take a deep breath, take a step back, relax a little bit, okay? Go within with the Queen of Cups. It's about our emotions, our inner life, our spiritual life. It's about going within and finding our, our balance, okay? Centering ourselves today. Um, and giving to ourselves, okay? Being giving and nurturing towards ourselves today. Because if we don't take care of ourselves first and foremost, we will not be able to take care of everyone else that we want to take care of, okay? Um, no one's saying don't help anyone, God forbid. We're not saying that, but help them, but also help yourself at the same time and keep that balance because otherwise what's gonna happen is you're going to be exhausted, drained of energy, perhaps even lose your health, okay? Because when we give too much of ourselves, that's where we get to. And then what are we going to do? Because we won't, we won't be able to care for anyone else. And actually, other people will have to stop what they're doing to take care of us if we're lucky and we have these kinds of people. And if not, what are we going to do? Because we won't be able to keep ourselves moving forward. And um, it's just a really difficult time to get yourself back from emotional exhaustion. Okay? So that's what they're asking us to look at today. The balance there. And if we do this, the energy that we're moving into tomorrow with is the Queen of Coins. And the Queen of Coins is all about security, stability. We're still nurturing, okay? If you can see, it's still a queen. So we're still nurturing and we're still there for everyone else. And we're still making sure that everyone else is taken care of. But we are more stable and secure within ourselves, okay? Um, because we are also giving to ourselves, not just everyone else. And so the message for today is just... Put yourself first today, okay? Also focus on your dreams. Focus on things that you've always wanted to do but never had, have had the time or it just never seemed the right time for you to be able to do that because you've had to do other things and you've had to do other things for other people. Take a few minutes or a couple of hours today or the whole day if you can to just focus on yourself, to just give yourself a break, to... Um, just do something that you enjoy, whether it is listening to music or watching a movie or just going out and taking a walk or just, you know, shutting off your phone and just being quiet for an hour, just meditating or just kind of allowing your mind to settle, okay? 
whatever the case may be, nurture yourself today because it's really, really important that you restore that balance between what we do for others and what we do for ourselves. And the guidance card we have is brown, established boundaries, the number is 12. So you see we have this beautiful green color in the card, okay? And we've got the green with the two coin cards um, in, in the beginning and the ending of our reading. So green for me stands for healing, for love. It also stands for abundance, okay? It stands for um, richness. And that can be abundance of emotion, material abundance, um, abundance in our interactions, abundance of friends, people who love us, uh, support systems, and so on. It also represents good health, okay? So, and if you can see the green is coming out of the brown, okay? It's coming out of the ground. So it's asking us, in order to have abundance for ourselves and for those around us, we must first ground ourselves today. We must find a way to set up some boundaries for how much we give, okay? For what we need to uh, receive, for how people need to treat us, for how we need to treat people. We must establish some boundaries in order to make sure that a balance exists and it is maintained, okay, by ourselves and by uh, people, situations, whatever is going on in our lives. We must have some boundaries, some healthy boundaries today. And if we do this and we manage to ground ourselves, and remember coins or pentacles, they're talking about grounding ourselves as well. If we manage to take this time to ground ourselves today, to focus on our foundations when it comes to our emotions, when it comes to our mental state, when it comes to our spiritual life, okay, our physical body, if we take the time to establish this solid, healthy foundation, abundance will follow for ourselves and for everyone else who we may want to take care of or help or support, okay? Um, so that's the message that we have for today. It's a really beautiful message, okay? And it's a number three, which is the next number after two. So with two, we've been in an imbalance until now, and we are being asked to take it to the next level and find that healthy balance in order to keep going in a healthy way, okay? So um, so there we have it, that's the message that we have for today. It's a beautiful message. It's just a reminder of the importance of um, healthy balance in our lives, okay? And I can assure you that this will affect um, all areas of life truly. If we establish some, some healthy boundaries for ourselves, a solid foundation um, for ourselves, and always make sure that if we do something for someone else, then we do something for ourselves as well. It can be just as simple as that. Just giving ourselves a few minutes if we have spent the whole day helping someone else. Then you will slowly start to see balance being restored in all areas of your life. Or just entering your life to begin with. Okay. Um, and that brings calm, peace, peace of mind, and then abundance. Okay. So, um... Thank you for being here with me and thank you for being patient and thank you for all that you do for me, for my channel. I really, really do appreciate it. And I'm really trying to get back in the, in the habit of um, replying to each and every single comment that I can. And because um, I love connecting with everyone. Um, and if, you can also follow me on Instagram. I've linked the account in the description box below. And you also have my website in there if you wanna check it out, have a look. Um, but I will see you really, really soon. Thank you again for uh, just being here and have a really beautiful day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.